Hello all, this is uh, John Linville, um, one of the hosts of the Coco Crew podcast. Um, sitting here in a parking lot while my wife runs an errand. Had some thoughts on uh, current Coco events, then uh, thought I'd share them with you. Uh, so, of course, yesterday we got the announcement from uh, the current uh, leadership of, of the Glenside Color Computer Club that they. Um, annual last Cocoa Fest um, has been postponed. Uh, hopefully that doesn't mean canceled. Well, for now at least it's postponed. So looking forward to maybe having an event later in the year. Um, and of course this is just one of a series of events or you know things um, being uh, shaken up or canceled or postponed or whatever uh, in the um, panic over coronavirus or COVID-19, um, it's so-called pandemic, pandemic. Um, you know, I don't know, I'm not a doctor or whatever, um, but my gut tells me that, uh, in years to come we'll look back on this and I think we'll probably remember the events better than we remember, say, swine flu or or bird flu or, you know, whatever else. Um, but we are uh, probably going to look back on this and think it was an overreaction. Um, nevertheless, um, sometimes you just can't fight City Hall. Um, so, um, not blaming uh, the, the Glenside leadership for uh, anything. I'm sure many people will think that this is the prudent and responsible action to take. Perhaps it is. Um, but uh, still, uh, disappointing. Um, Cocoa Fest, annual Cocoa Fest trips have been the highlight of my year for decades. And, um, you know, it's. Uh, I'm dealing with some grief right now, to be honest, <laughs> and um, some of you may be as well. Some of you may have been planning to attend your first trip. A lot of hype has been made over being the 40th uh, anniversary of the color computer. Uh, in my opinion, that's not a big deal. It's just a <laughs> number to mark on the calendar. Um, and a lot of the people making a big deal about the 40th anniversary of the Coco celebration. It's funny that. I somehow don't remember them being around for the 35th or 30th or 25th or 20th. Uh, so suddenly they found the cocoa and the 40th is a big deal. Well, whatever. But God bless them. Um, <laughs> anyway, the um, fact is that we just have to take the time, the springtime, um, maybe devoted more to um, our cocoa projects and cocoa writing, cocoa game playing, whatever you got, um, it's, uh, you won't be going to other uh, retro computing events because they've all sort of been delayed or canceled as well, so what are you going to do? If any of you happen to live near North Carolina and want to meet up, uh, hit me up, I might be game. Um, anyway, um, I will remind everyone, we do already have on the books a plan for a real life event that's um, definitely Coco friendly, not totally dedicated to the Coco, but totally dedicated to Tandy. Um, plenty of Coco representation there. I'll be there. Neil will be there. Mike and Boise will be there. Ron, I think, will be there too. Um, and yeah, that'll be, of course, in Springfield, Ohio uh, on a Halloween weekend. That is a Tandy assembly. So definitely come if you want to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the Coco. <laughs> then Ohio's a great place to do it. I hear they have bakeries there too, so you can still buy your birthday cake and uh, <laughs> show up, and we can slice it up and uh, you know do whatever you want. Um, you know. Anyway, so we have ups and downs in life, ups and downs in the community. Um, so this is a little bit of a disappointment right now, certainly for me. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with that extra vacation time. Um, my wife was already planning to go to Universal, and that hasn't been, uh, uh <laughs> during the Cocoa Fest, and that hasn't been canceled yet, so 
I might be on my own, uh, just sitting around doing nothing on what was Cocoa Fest weekend. Um, <laughs> I'm sure I'll find something to do. Maybe Neil will have me up uh, Niagara Falls. And uh, <laughs> um, anyway, um, anyway, if you are like me, you kind of going through this little many stages of grief. Um, it's uh, life will go on. We'll find other things to do. Your Coco still loves you. Your Coco will still be there for you. So maybe it's a good time to learn to program, learn a program in Basic or assembly language or or Pilot or Logo or whatever else um, you can dig up. Um, anyway, it's still a month away. Um, there is some talk uh, amongst uh, some of the other members of the community about doing a virtual Coco Fest. I don't know. Um, it doesn't excite me. Uh, the whole point of Coco Fest is meeting people in real life. So if you, um, I don't know, if your thing already is to hang out uh, for hours on Saturday afternoon teleconferencing, well, you might as well do it on Coco Fest weekend too. Um, but, uh, you know, for me, it just doesn't do it, so don't expect me to participate uh, in that one, just sitting around watching people video cast and tell bad and old jokes. <laughs> um, anyway, so, uh, like I said, if you need something to do to replace or uh, augment um, Coco Fest, especially with it uh, being delayed, definitely keep Tandy Assembly in mind. Um, and um, like I said, if you're coming through North Carolina, let me know. Maybe we can meet up for a beer or a steak or uh, uh, some barbecue. Mm, pretty good stuff. Um, all right. Well, that's probably enough for now. Um, I hope this is uh, informational. Or I hope it helps some of you uh, process uh, the grief that you may be feeling uh, over this lost event or postponed event. And... Um, you know, the community is still here. We'll keep things together. Um, hopefully it's not not even the last if this didn't happen. <laughs> hopefully it's not the last Coco Fest. Hopefully it really is just postponed. Um, and uh, we'll get through it. And so keep tuning into the podcast and uh, consuming whatever other Coco media uh, that you do, uh, uh, that you like to have on YouTube or elsewhere. Um, and, uh, you know, what can I say? I don't know what to say. Coco forever. Uh, hey, you got your COVID-19 yet? <laughs> See ya.